Bulma, get ya! Oh, the devils are coming for me. I can see them skulking in the bushes. They sniff me out, the dirty rats. You have to help me, Mousy. I am the only one who can defeat the Rat King. The junkyard in Kopachi. You hold the fate of the world in your hands. Please, hurry. Uh, all right. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I was actually just starting to wonder when we were going to get to meet Tarakan, because, like, we've done a couple missions with him and, like, haven't recruited him, so I was worried that, like, maybe I'd made a decision early on that he was like, no, I don't want anything to do with you kind of thing, but uh, it seems like he's, uh, he's still there. Uh, okay. I, I must have earned Terracon's trust. The NAR is on his ta tail and I'm the only one who can help him. If I come to his aid, perhaps he'll return the favor. Alright, so let's do that one. Uh, and let's see. Everyone seems to have much better stats now. Here, you will hunt them. Uh, what can Olga do? Okay, everyone's on things. I think we're good. Alright, let's get going. Yeah. We'll be fine. Alright, I'm closing in on the location right now. Ooh, we have a bunch of stuff here. Looks like the old loon oh. can handle himself just fine. Ooh. Ho ho. Those people are dead. Oh no, these are these are rats. A trail of dead rats. Well, that can't be a coincidence. Well, that's what the buzzing sound is. Okay. The buzzing sound is the rotting corpses of the rats. It's a crumb trail. It is literally a crumb trail. They highlight on my analyzer thing. There's a lot of people around here. I'd like to knock a few of them down so I can move around more easily. That was really ballsy. I wish that animation didn't take a half forever. He is about to be seen, though. That is a thing. I could use a smoke. Or is that guy just not going to move anymore? I think he's stuck. He might be stuck. All right. Okay. There's only that one really strong dude who's stuck, so I think we're fine. I have to take a leak, so. That's a lot of blood. NER must have really worked him over. I hope he's still alive. Oh, this place, I see. Oh, is he just leaving behind dead rats so that we can follow him? Is that how this is working? So weird. This is going quite a ways. Keep digging. That was a friend you killed. You can thank your lucky stars we're in a hurry. Don't rush it. I want to watch him sweat away his last seconds before the bullet. For Misha. If I'm going to act, it has to be now.
Oh, well. Ah, uh, of course, there's a lag spike on a game that has no online play. Oh. Okay. I think I'm okay. Uh, I ran really far away. This isn't going to end well. This is going to end very poorly, actually. I think my best choice right now is to actually retreat and try to hide from the Black Stalker until... Uh, you know, until... This area is very heavily wooded. I think I have a good chance of hiding out in this area. Okay. Yep. I have arrived at his last known position. It's only a matter of time before I find him. Alright, so I survived the Black Stalker. I just, I basically waited for him to, to go away and cheesed him around places. But I do have to kill one of these guys. Okay, this is weird. I actually don't see any guards coming back here. Um, what, what is happening? What? Has the game broken again because a black stalker came in the middle of this? Like, did Tarakan run away? And the game is just like, well, you're stuck. Now nothing's going to work for you anymore. Okay, so my last checkpoint was uh, 27 minutes ago, so half an hour ago, and I'm going to have to try to redo as much of this as I possibly can as quickly as I can. I'm basically going to have to ignore enemies as much as I can and rush through this so that I can get to the uh, get to Terracon as fast as I quickly can because uh, Black, that Black Stalker glitch happened again, where if I meet the Black Stalker before I finish the mission, I can't complete the mission at all. Why did Tarakan turn to you for help? He's been so, here a while. Surely he has other people who I, can do his bidding. I would hope that there would he be a fix for this kind of issue, you know, because it's not mother. like, you know, this game never updates or anything like that. Like, it's been out for a while, and it can, it does get patches, at least I think it does. And, you know, I'm connected to the internet and everything, but, uh, I don't know. 
I can't seem to find if there's uh, other people who experience glitches similar to this or not. Um, where if you meet the Black Stalker, the mission that you're on just can't continue for whatever reason. So I'm just going to try to do this as quickly as I can. I am going to have to ignore everything else and just do the mission as quickly as possible. Keep digging. That was our friend you killed. You can thank your lucky stars we're in a hurry. Don't rush it. I want to watch him sweat away his last seconds before the bullet. For Misha. If I'm going to act, it has to be now. Okay, seriously, what am I supposed to do here? I came over here, I did what I was supposed to do. What am I supposed to do with this? Because, like, he's not there. I must be doing something wrong. Oh, that's him. Oh, I have to wait. Okay, I have Tarakan this time. Or I did. He's hiding nearby. Where are you going? It's safe. Divine providence guided your hand. Okay. I'm too important to be killed by NAR's minions. <laughs> Join me. We seem destined to keep running into each other, so you might as well come on board. Thank you. <sighs> I'm beginning to think that your role in the fight against evil is as important as mine. Just trying to do the right thing. Hmm. Of course you are, Mousy. Where the great rat catcher in the sky leads, one must follow. Sure, sure. Okay. He might have actually just been standing over there, and I just missed it completely because he wasn't in the area that I thought he should be at. Anyway. Um, I now am free to do whatever I want here, so I'm just going to do a little bit more looking around. And we'll be fine. It's very important that you answer as best you can. I will certainly try, Mousy. Uh... Who are you? Okay, why don't you retire the act for a while? Who are you, really? What act? There is nothing more real than this. Tarakan is more real than you are. <laughs> Does your name have some special meaning? Tarakan means cockroach. And that is what I am. A humble being reborn from the ashes of Chernobyl's destruction. Tiny, but resilient. Okay. I used to be a person like you, Mousy. But when Divine Providence called upon me to face the Rat King, Tarakan was born. Okay. Uh, music box. First, how did you get Tachana's music box? She came to me. The woman in the red dress. She came to you? Where? When? In my dreams. She has. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure uh, Tatiana has been, like, the music transformed into something that's connected to, to the Chernobylite now. What did she say? Exactly. And she now has, like, she the ability to just, like, talk to people and appear anywhere. 
She also wanted you to see the music box, to convince you that all this is real. I keep seeing her too. <laughs> At first I thought it must be my imagination, but... No, don't say that. She's completely real. Don't doubt it for another moment. Why was NAR trying to kill you? Why not? They're Did trying to kill all of you. <laughs> Nothing is obvious to me right now. I'm the only person who stands between humanity and the Rat King. His minions will try to kill me every chance they get. All right. All right. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. Got Chernobylite. Uh, ammo. What do you get? Food. And that stuff. And he just exists now, so. Cool. Everybody get some food. Okay. Well, let's talk to people. I just remembered something, Mousy. Oh? What is it? More rat stories or history lessons? A cautionary tale. A wise Mousy can always find a tasty bit of cheese if he's smart. He's got rats but tied to him. That the I just cheese realized. Poison or sitting in a trap. You never know what you might find. What are you talking about? Ozask, 1957. Kapow! <laughs> Evil rats were stirring the pot, <laughs> trying to stick their ugly little stouts where they shouldn't. Yes, I remember reading about that. It was a chemical explosion, right? Mm -hmm. Huge quantities of cesium-137 and strontium-90 were released into the atmosphere. Wasn't that classified? While you were reading about it, my mother had to live through it. The placid Tekka River, so beautiful this time of the year. But after the boom... So, so poisonous. Yes. One of many regrettable failures. No, 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 Mousy. What you call failure, I call a deliberate plan of the Rat King. He lured the silly little mouses with a chunk of smelly, yet delicious cheese. <laughs> but it was poisoned. And the cheese you are looking for may be poisoned as well. Even if it looks delicious. I think he's just telling us so to be, be careful, careful that we might be trapped. Rats. Whenever you sense these machinations in the shadows, you can be sure that the Rat King has a part in it. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Uh, try Hey me. there, Tarakan. I was wondering if there's anything you'd like to teach me. He has camouflage, that's what I want. I have been blessed with the wisdom of the great Rat Catcher. And I've also spent a lot of time in the zone. I can give you some pointers. Cool. Camouflage. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Yeah, even more stealthy. You know what the mouse's biggest strength is? Not its teeth, not its size. It's the ability to become invisible, or almost invisible. Mm -hmm. That is what I will teach you today, Mousy. Okay. The secret lies in camouflage and controlling your breathing. You can't literally become invisible, only I can do that. <laughs> and the Rat King. <laughs> but you can make yourself almost indistinguishable from your surroundings. Always stay in the shadows. Use vegetation to conceal your movements. Wear earthy colors like dark green or brown. Control your breathing. Be like a shadow. Be exactly like a mousy. Mousy. Oh, okay. So, let's put this knowledge to the test. I'll be the rat king, and you try to sneak up on me, mousy. Oh, it's like uh, Olivier's test, okay. Ready when you are, Mousy.
Tap tap. You're a very gifted student, Mousy. Congratulations. Yay. I think you learned something today, Mousy. Hopefully it will be enough to keep you alive. <laughs> you impress me, Mousy. You will make a great addition to the great rat catcher's army. Hey. Okay. Uh, let's see. You have anything sir, to say? Good morning, sir. <laughs> Stop calling me sir. What do you want, Mikhail? I'm just fucking teasing you, man. Because I'm bored. You used to live in England, didn't you? Eating your full English breakfast, drinking Darjeeling tea, <laughs> scooting around in your Aston Martin, sipping martinis, mingling with high society. A regular James fucking Bond. I don't, I don't I know about that. I eat porridge for breakfast, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. I did a piece of business with some Brits once. Good blokes. They drank Stolich Night with Red Bull. <laughs> Loopy fuckers. Why are you wasting my time, Mikhail? <laughs> I knew a guy once. I used to do business in Moscow. This guy wasn't a Brit, he was Scottish. I think his name was Daniel. He was absolutely fascinated by the Moscow sewers. Daniel was looking for a guide, so I took him on a tour of the underground, told him some really top drawer fucking tales about nuclear bunkers under the Moskva River where Putin will hide when the zombie apocalypse comes, <laughs> about the lizard people from Zeta Reticuli controlling the amount of sugar in your Starbucks coffee. He was a tad skeptical, though. Reminds me of you, and that worries me. Why? You've spent too much time in the rotten capitalistic West, comrade. <laughs> You know what I mean. Anyway, I hope our humble way of life isn't too much of a shock for you. Oh, trust me. I'll always be Ukrainian in my heart. Great. I'll drink to that. Yeah, as soon as I find something better to drink, that is. Okay. Uh, who else is about? Hey. Do you have a moment, Igor? A sure. singular moment. What do you need? No more. I was wondering about that deranged And the moment is over. I did the Duke Let's go. Radar kick for. <laughs> Tarakan? He's right over there. Yeah. Some of the things he said in passing makes me think there's more to him. More than a demented techno-shaman with a knack for spy stuff and an unhealthy obsession with rats? <laughs> Funny. But yes, I, I think he uses that stuff as a shell. Into personal armor. There's something underneath all of that. When I was in Bujarkia prison, I met some guys doing time for political stuff. Okay. They told me how in the olden days, high-level, disloyal types were committed to a nut house. I mean, what's up with that, right? It had more to do with protecting the whole system than punishing one person. The people in charge wanted to send a message that it was insane not to believe the Soviet Union was the best country, or countries in the world. Yeah, insane. Did you know any rebels like that? I... I don't think so. Why? There was this rumor about someone, someone important, who was about to blow the whistle on the Duga project. He got chucked into the loony bin before he could speak up. Ooh. Really? Who do you think it was? Beats me. The official reason was a mental breakdown after the Chernobyl disaster. Convenient timing, if you ask me. We probably won't ever know who it was. Abotomies and drugs will turn your brain to mush. Hmm. Wonder if that was... Him. All right. All right. Uh, now where is everybody else? I should. There should be enough How beds. Do you do, Igor? Fine. Fine. Just getting ready for action. What's up with you? Before I came here, I was involved with Greenpeace in Ukraine. Oh, that's commendable. Any successes? Well, the economic climate wasn't very good at that time. We staged some protests. I even chained myself to a tree once. Oh. <laughs> but in the end, the police would show up and beat the shit out of me. Don't be so hard on yourself. NGOs have always had it rough in our neck of the woods. Yeah, it was like bailing out the ocean with a teaspoon. <laughs> Somebody told me that when Greenpeace first came to Ukraine, they were immediately infiltrated by the KGB. I can't believe this world. And that was the Cold War mentality for you. Every foreign NGO worker is a potential spy or asset. Some officials promised to help us build an eco-housing project for Chernobyl survivors, but in the end, it came to nothing. The construction company dug a huge hole for the foundation that disappeared with all the materials. And that was the end of it. Oh, what no. a giant waste of time. I wish I had been born in your times, Igor. I would have done so much more. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. 
But you probably would have gotten yourself killed. Oh yeah, she's the one I need to watch with the uh, things that I'm doing. Uh, let's see. What's going on, Igor? I don't know. Just chatting. Um, you don't have anything to say. All right. Okay, I'm gonna sort my inventory and go to bed.